everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how with a little paint, sandpaper, and elbow grease you can take an old beat up cabinet and give it a whole new life. This cabinet we're going to be doing a really simple quick finish that I think anyone can do in a dark black granite soapstone top and then just sanding, repairing the face, painting it so it will match the new kitchen that I'm putting in. So the first thing that you always want to do on any project is to lightly sand just to get off any uneven texture and make any needed repairs. So this cabinet face was completely out. So I used Gorilla Glue, got it down in there, put these little guys on, just left them on overnight. And now it is perfectly flat and ready to paint. Now I'm going to use my very favorite primer by Coverstain. This is just going to ensure that anything that I put on the top is going to stick well. And in this case, I'm actually going to use the primer as my paint, and that's all I'm going to do. So this is the laminate that I want to copy. Um, I just kind of gave it a, a loose little painting with the chinchilla. And then I have some blacks that I had mixed. I don't know which ones will be the perfect color, but since you kind of mix them all together, it doesn't really matter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of change the shape of this sponge. So this is where I wanna mention that the color that I've already pre-painted the base is going to be the same color that I use when I start the faux. So this is the chinchilla, it's the lightest color in the stone that I'm doing. And I just quickly throw a lot of paint on and then I just simply start pouring the colors that I have on the project. I usually use about three colors and I use the sample colors that you can purchase from most paint stores. They're only about $3, so it makes it a lot cheaper. And how I choose the colors is I take the sample into the paint store and I just get the paint chips and start laying them on and finding about three colors that are in the granite. And you don't have to be exact because they all get mixed together. And then I just go in and address the edges so I get paint in the edges. And then I hold up the stone to see if I need to blend a little more or where I'm at. And obviously I need to blend a little more and the nice thing is that when this dries and if you find it's not perfect you can just do this process again by throwing the paint on and sponging it again and you can keep doing that just lightly sand in between I usually use about a 400 grit sandpaper and there we go the base is done and now we just need to varnish it. Now with this one I'm just going to lightly sand with a 400 grit and then I'm going to be putting the varnish on. Now the varnish I use is a water clear water based varnish. I usually use matte or satin and in this case I used the matte finish because I didn't want it to be too shiny and I just put it on with one of those sponge pads. And then I use a really soft brush to just gently get out any of the varnish marks. And the last thing I do is install the hardware that I spray painted black to match the new kitchen. Now here's the kitchen counter on the right next to my painted stone. I think it looks really fabulous. I'm really happy with it and I hope you all try this and let me know how it works out for you. And if you have any questions you can always ask down in the comments. And I'm always uploading new videos so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified and I'll see you on the next project. Next stop, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next video.